Today, we're diving into a steaming topic. Does coffee cause inflammation? For all you coffee lovers out there navigating the tricky terrain of gut health, especially with conditions like Crohn's or colitis, you've probably wondered if that cup of joe is your friend or foe. Hi, I'm Danielle. As a dietitian specializing in IBD and right in the trenches with a partner with Crohn's, I've got some insights to spill. No pun intended. Let's talk about coffee in the context of IBD. It's a worldwide love affair with this brew, but does it stir up inflammation? And is it safe for a sensitive gut? Through my years of clinical practice, here's a real scoop. There may not be a one-size-fits-all answer. While coffee does contain anti-inflammatory properties, it can stimulate the gut. How it plays out in your digestive system is personal. Cue the science! Inflammation is your body's SOS signal, a natural response to invaders or damage. But when it goes chronic, it's like a party that's outstayed its welcome. Enter coffee, a global morning ritual that's more than just a wake-up call. It's loaded with anti-inflammatory polyphenols. Think of polyphenols as your gut's little guardians. So, is coffee an anti-inflammatory hero we've been waiting for? When it comes to the large intestines lining, Coffee's polyphenols, like caffeine and chlorogenic acid, strut their stuff, potentially keeping inflammation at bay. Plus, coffee's natural fibers are like a buffet for your helpful gut bacteria, helping to keep things diverse in the microbiome and potentially contributing to keeping inflammation in check. Now, if your ears perked up about fiber, don't worry. The fiber content in coffee is so small. It's around 0.001 grams per cup, meaning that it's not a significant source of fiber. And what about antioxidants? Coffee's packing. Caffeine, a key player, can shield your cells from harmful free radicals. But remember, coffee isn't the only source of caffeine. It can also be found in certain types of teas and chocolates. However, it's not all sunshines and rainbows. Coffee can be a bit of a double-edged sword in your stomach, cranking up the acid and potentially messing with conditions like GERD or reflux. And how you drink your coffee, like black or milk or sugar, can totally change the game on how your body responds too. Let's brew this down. Coffee gets things moving. It's like a nudge or sometimes a push for your intestinal muscles, stimulating you to use the restroom. And it impacts your gut microbiome, Decaf or not, it's still in the anti-inflammatory camp, but it also might make you use the restroom. So timing and how you're feeling is everything. Is coffee safe to include in an anti-inflammatory diet? That's the hot question. Turns out some IBD therapeutic diets do give coffee the green light with caveats. Some say hold the milk and sugar. Others allow only weak coffee. And then there are those that don't fuss over the dairy, but ask you to go easy on the sweeteners. Here's where personalization is key. Each person and each gut with IBD is unique. So we wanna keep in mind how your body and your IBD react. To wrap up, remember, coffee does contain anti-inflammatory benefits, but the effects can vary widely depending on how you take it and your unique gut health situation. That's why it's crucial to listen to your body and monitor how you feel after drinking it. Did you find this video helpful? Please let us know by liking it and subscribing to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.